in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed i want us to pray tonight and um, tonight's teaching is a call you know tonight made me understand again the power of being in the spirit and truly what can happen to a man when you are genuinely connected to the flow of what God is doing praise the Lord yes as I came up here and heard Pastor Alpha teaching and then so tonight's teaching is a call if you are not great and you have not seen anything in God you may not need tonight's teaching tonight's teaching is for people who have seen the hand of God tonight's teaching is for people who have committed themselves to press into the things of the spirit and, um, doesn't mean that if you're just starting out the teaching for you but this is God speaking to the matured ones tonight in the name of Jesus Christ come up hither part one come up hither part one unto him who sits on the throne blessing and honor blessing and honor to Jesus the lamb that was slain glory and power Who sits on the throne, blessings and honor, blessings and honor, to Jesus, the Lamb that was slain, glory and power.
I began to sense that anointing right from home because of the things that have been communicated by the Spirit and I knew by the Spirit Koinonia is a place of encounters an encounter makes a revelation real to you
cry that you will truly take us higher cause us to rise to strange dimensions in the spirit and let the proof be evident oh God that we have stepped higher in the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated if you can and then be sensitive. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Especially for those of us who came from far, you didn't come to waste your time. see let me tell you something about a call and a ministry listen listen see, when God calls a man the anointing is not the only thing that is given you have to understand this every ministry has many standard spiritual features when God calls a man please listen there is an anointing that is upon that man by reason of his knowledge and his personal press into the things of God there is the anointing that is on the office that that man occupies spiritually there is the anointing that is on that man by reason of discerning and being part of the current move of God. they are not the same are we together and then there is the anointing that comes by reason of the dimensions that God wants to take people into based on the truths that are revealed and then at certain levels depending on the call and what office there are covenants please listen that means a vow that God made with that man that as far as it relates to this assignment i have bound myself to do certain things that has nothing to do with even the vessel you see that then there are angelic manifestations listen now there are angels that work with believers There are angelic presence please listen as a believer he said his angels she shall put his angels charge over you there are angelic presence that work with believers but there are angels that don't follow a man they follow anointings they don't need to know who that individual is it's an office the same way they give you an office and there are cars, there are PAs, they don't have to know you. It is part of the equipping of the kingdom. You see that? It's very important. And then there are also angelic presence that signify revelations. It is not only the anointing that gives revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto John, his servant he said he sent it and signified it by his angel hallelujah so when you're in a meeting like this and you see things like this happen it's an interplay of many things it's not just a generic move of an anointing from an anointed man there are things happening that have nothing to do with the vessel himself there are things that are as a result of the, the health of the secret place of the vessel. There are certain things that are based on the office that is being played. I, I just wanted you to learn and to know this. Because many times, 
believers just wonder look let me tell you this let me tell you this you see these things god is blessing it's not just that god is proving that a man is anointed some of these people fall in many things are happening at the same time there are deliverances there are impartations there are the, the opening spiritual vistas is like a veil just being open to movement into dimensions this is how people grow this is how people grow it is not my desire to carry some of these graces and these possibilities and just have people watch it <clears throat> when God sends a word to Jacob it is because of Israel that you will also be able to carry these dimensions you see transformation is difficult when there is no reference so God finds a man that represents a possibility and then your spirit and your mind is able to comprehend that dimension as true and possible then you can release your faith and step into it koinonia we call it is it all right if you pray for one minute and just ask the lord you say lord all the graces all the revelations pastor alpha let us know you don't have to stand just pray please pray with desperation and hunger hallelujah praise the lord please be seated revelations 4 tonight will be a mighty time it will be brief so that we'll pray we pray for grace we pray for strength revelations chapter 4 I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be thereafter come up hither and I will show thee things which must not may be certainty things which must be thereafter Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 how can i see by myself unless you take over i'll never know it on my own unless you take over take over jesus take over take over Jesus take over How can I see it by myself Unless you take over I will not hear it on my own Unless you take over Take over Take over Take over cannot learn it on your own unless it takes over you'll never see by yourself unless it takes over listen there are dimensions you can never see by willpower 
and study it is given like an initiation until your eyes are open you will never see it he said call on to me and i will answer i will be the one to show you if i don't show you you cannot see it you can study you can pray you can fast but for seeing you may have eyes but you can never see it there are realms that are shown 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 it's called fellowship with the mystery you are brought into oneness with truths and revelations we'll never know it by ourselves unless it takes over we cannot know it by ourselves I'll never hear you on my own unless you take over take over Jesus take over take over take over please sit down tonight is a call to press higher tonight is a call to shake us away and out of spiritual complacency tonight is a call to show us that there is more that regardless of that which we have seen there is more that's why i said if you have not done anything serious in the spirit this message may not be for you this message is for someone who has healed before is for someone who has prophesied before is for someone who is at the cutting edge of the move of god is for someone who has tasted and seen the power and the glory of god tonight's message is for someone who knows what it means to be used by god tonight's message is someone is for someone who knows what it means to have the anointing not guessing come up here he said come up here to a higher realm of prophecy to a higher realm of teaching to a higher realm of visions to a higher realm of spiritual power I'm a student of revivals God has granted me the privilege to study the moves of God please listen and I have studied revivals I've listened to a few senior colleagues and fathers in the ministry talk about revivals either based on their experiences or what they were told please listen carefully and I learned this from a man of God that the current move of God always fights the next move of God that the enemy of the next move of God is the current move because many times listen carefully every move of God comes with a level of outstanding results every move of God comes with a performance in a higher dimension and usually because of the the consistency that will come with that move over a period of time it is easy for those who have mastered the strategy that makes them relevant within that move to plateau in the spirit and not believe that there can be more again now listen very carefully when the healing ministry started listen carefully great men like alexander the way and these generals of god they moved in very strange dimensions but then a time came when the healing ministry seemed to just plateau because it looked like men had gotten to the zenith of what they believed that God could do when the prophetic came people rose to certain levels and it looked like those who were the highest manifestors of those gifts just stood at a realm This is not backsliding. 
this is that you have exhausted every possibility that is within the jurisdiction of that move there is nothing you can do again as far as that dimension is concerned you have exhausted it at that level you will need revelations chapter 4 a time will come when you will find out that every dimension you need to see as written for you by God within a level you have exhausted it you've read it you've preached it you've done everything and let me tell you this listen very carefully I say it with all humility but I have seen you, you see when you start walking with God because of the extent of the downpour listen carefully of visions of revelations you are being open to new things and then especially if you have the privilege of what i call pioneer status that means that you are the among the few to introduce that dimension to a territory because of the scarceness of that revelation there will be a lot to do i mean you are so full of revelation you can preach back to back and there are messages but a time will come when the people within that territory all come into that experience they are baptized into it now listen very carefully remember when you were introducing it because very few people knew about that dimension there was hunger and the hunger will always draw you anything you say there will be an applause for it because very few people could enter that dimension but with time everybody will continue to press as you guide them listen carefully you will get to a point where the least has entered like the ark of noah at that point now you will find out that together the goal for that season has been met because god now used you and showed you a dimension and so for three or four years sometimes you will not even need to study anything new you are so full so full you it's like it's a it's like an animal that has just given birth and wanting the children to suck when that happens let me tell you what happens usually because of the joy the beauty the honor the applause that comes by reason of your being used by god to produce certain dimensions you may fall into the deception that the zenith of what you communicate is all that there can be and so what you will continue doing is recycling the same thing recycling the same thing recycling the same thing to mean that this realm that have stayed is all there can be in god revelation starts with john the beloved do you know who john was john was not just an apostle he was called the beloved that means if you arrange all the disciples according to their permit me to use the word according to their spiritual stratification the first will not be peter the first will be john the beloved there abided these three faith peter hope james love john the greatest you see that now and john was banished in an isle called patmos for the sake of the testimony of jesus christ and while he was there he said i was in the spirit on the lord's day that, that's another discussion there because there are things you cannot see he said flesh and blood has not revealed this there are levels in the spirit where until you rise in the spirit you cannot see you cannot know so he says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard first started with his hearing i heard this and that and that and then eventually he saw the church the lamb stands and then he received the dimension of revelation to the seven churches that were in asia minor prophetically the catholic church the complete church because every one of those churches represented a dimension in the body that god was adjusting commending and correcting are we together having exhausted that then he was open to another dimension of worship in heaven are we together and to think that that was all john was being told 
by this revelation that john at this plane that you stand now there is nothing to see again everything has been seen and every instruction has been received notice john was never shown things that will happen from that plane he only saw things that were and things that are that was it then chapter 4 comes and he says come up hither and let's go to the future let me show you the things that must happen shortly and john rolls to the future there are realms that when you stand there you will see what has happened and what is happening but you may never see what god is up to you can be a christian you can still be called I learned very early in life and in ministry that as wonderful as fame is it can be dangerous that as wonderful as revelation and leadership is let me tell you this if you ever assume a pioneer status in the spirit you have to be extra careful pioneers are usually the ones who hardly finish read the Bible there are few pioneers that finished Moses leads the people and never gets into the promised land himself are you seeing that now it's very important it's easy to follow a move that was not introduced by you it's easy to follow on yours is just to observe template and to conform to it by the spirit the nation of israel did not have to climb the mountain to experience god they just needed to look at the face of the one who already went what was in the mountain was now on the face of a man so instead of climbing up the mountain they just kept looking at moses and they would have the same experience but it was up to moses to know the next thing that god would be doing are we together now powerful as moses was you can see the extent of his trial and error they will wait behind and wait for him to go and fish out the new move then all of them will come and follow it was because of this moses was instructed to speak to the rock and in anger he struck the rock and because of that he said no 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 no. this was not my program you've corrupted it you cannot enter canaan pioneering the move of god is very dangerous many people like the honor that follows this and that to say oh we are the ones that started this dimension but you see the thing about it is that because you are at that level you will feel indebted to that level you will be emotionally connected to that move you cannot leave it to the next level are we together now yes that you were the first to be to open up a dimension of god to a territory it's like you are the first to start producing this and now when you are aware that this is no longer in use if everybody leaves it you will not want to leave it too because of that relationship that's how it is even with spiritual things there are dimensions that you can be so emotionally connected to because of the experiences that surround that dimension and when another move of God starts coming you will prefer that the move comes to meet you there but not to leave that level and to rise higher that's why i said it is dangerous to pioneer spiritual things it's a noble cause and it's a noble task but the burden on it it will only take the spirit of the living god to help you the second reason why it is dangerous or by dangerous i don't mean it is not advantageous that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that you are in a very vulnerable position the second is that because of the charisma and the ego are we together and the sense of achievement that surrounds that level the moment you and any other move that is happening within that dispensation that you don't seem to be involved in you can preach that it is error or it is satanic or it is demonic because you are used to being the starter you are not used to following you are used to starting moves 
understand what i'm saying you know you see that if you have not done anything in god tonight's teaching may not really bless you john was the first of his kind to introduce this dimension of the prophetic a very strange prophet the bible says of all the prophets none was as great as john so john is in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey a strange dimension of revelation when jesus comes john baptizes jesus and then he's happy that he's baptized jesus even john said i may decrease i'm not sure he understood what he was saying now eventually the disciples of john had to start leaving to join something that was a move john was never in one of jesus's crusades they didn't hang him the next day they didn't lock him the next day john was alive he was there he never saw the need because he believed that the the emotional connect and the ego of pioneering things did not allow him to go there notice all the people that seemed to be pioneers were those who were offended with jesus the scribes and the pharisees we are the sanhendry council what are you doing jesus all the followers were excited what is the new thing let us join if it's bread we eat if it's the mountain we climb but the scribe said not so this is not how we have been doing it including john follow me very carefully so john is hearing of the things jesus is doing and a few disciples who are loyal to him too come back look at the pain in john's heart the people he had raised i don't know what john thought he would become but his honor was already there for his assignment completed but john probably believed that he would continue to run that ministry the same way jesus was running it to like a parallel whatever it is and it seemed as though jesus did not have regard for john because we never see jesus making any mention of john go and greet john or oh, john just to tell you your boy is still here the move continues and the fame of jesus is growing john is threatened the scribes are threatened the roman government threatened everything every day was an episode of mighty things listen very carefully follow me i want to show you something powerful mm. one day john gets himself in trouble and he's behind bars about to be beheaded and he sends in offense listen this is the current move fighting the next move go and confirm are you the one that we should be waiting for are you the messiah or is there another it was a sarcastic statement it was not a question that required an answer john was not ignorant he was a prophet and when jesus had it jesus said i know what the problem is it's a weakness in men it's a weakness in pioneers it's a weakness in those who are trusted to pioneer certain moves listen what i'm teaching you is very deep you will listen to one message some years to come and you will cry when god sent you to a region where they do not know one tenth of the truths that god has taught you and for many years you become a celebrity and a mighty man and god begins to do mighty things in and through you and then one day you will hear and see of things that you were not involved with and you will see. this is the challenge oh, let me not go ahead of myself this is one of the major challenges with all due respect of fathers and senior colleagues in ministry because of the mighty things that god did in and through them and the dimensions that were introduced sincerely speaking not out of wickedness or whatever they were so emotionally connected to starting things that they believe that if god is ever to do anything it is impossible for them to not start it so when they hear that mighty things are happening and they don't seem to be involved they think it's to their honor 
whereas john was not there when jesus commended him as the greatest prophet in other words as far as this move is concerned receive your crown. you have done a great job but let the program of god continue and if you are interested you will have to humble yourself and join that move provided you are not pioneering it i will show you those who got it right in the bible one of them was mary no woman as a virgin had ever gotten pregnant it was a new dimension now mary had a right to sit down and say my son jesus my this my that but when she discerned there was a new move she followed them to the upper room and waited quietly the mother of jesus among the 120 who would receive the holy ghost was it not the before some of them were born she had been relating with the holy ghost it was the holy ghost that got her pregnant and now she's coming to receive him in another dimension with humility you understand what i will teach you you will never miss any move of god if you don't get it there are moves that will leave you you will stand in shock it's not backsliding you will just say lord when did this cloud pass me Mary got it right. John did not. John was offended. I will show you that even Jesus got it right. He knew that purpose was not just to come and remain on earth. He knew the timing. And even in advance, he began to tell them, I am not afraid of handing over. Because it is in handing over that my honor is multiplied. Listen. So Jesus is preparing the people. Watch this. And then he uses a very dangerous statement. It is expedient that I go. Ah. They said, no, you must remain here. You will be king. We eat bread. We like you. Remain. We like this kind of ministry. But he was saying, no, 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 no. I'm even coming to, I'm a bridge between the old and the new. You must be so desperate for God. That the position you occupy in the things of God should not matter. You must be so desperate for the things of God like Mary. You can give birth to Jesus and still join to wait. She was not the one leading praise and worship in the upper room. If Mary comes and sits in Koinonia now, I will give her the mic. I will just give her and sit down. What does it like to carry the word of God bodily for nine months? Mary, talk to us, let's learn. I will hand over the ministry to Mary. There was no mention of her speaking. Imagine Mary was there among the 120. So Peter is praying. Remember Jesus told us that in 10 more days, the Holy Ghost will come and Mary is watching them. You know the level of humility it takes to be a mighty mover in a dimension sustain the humility to stand back there is an obsession in men to be known there is an obsession in men to be famous it's a weakness in men please listen back to our story so john is offended and makes a sarcastic statement go and ask jesus whether he's the messiah the same said behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world now said go and verify jesus we are not sure again do you know what that message would have done to the disciples they would have said if prophet john is now doubting jesus it means we have to be careful it was a sarcastic way of saying be careful with that meeting be careful with that move <laughs> so when jesus had it he laughed he said go and the blind see this and that and the gospel is preached he said blessed is he that is not offended in me then the disciples were now at the center stage and one day listen carefully they heard that there were other people who were not part of their camp there was there were some powerful miracles happening somewhere and the disciples said jesus what is going on here and jesus laughed he said you guys want to make the mistake of john whoever is not against us 
whoever is not against us is for us they were so happy there was a time the, the remember the mother of james and john she wanted to come and see him the disciples stopped her and said what is it we're in a move we're enjoying you see why they were angry when jesus said he was going they said well, what is all this one now so what is our own take on this you have created trouble for us and now you want to leave you are not going anywhere and jesus said no it is expedient that i go i'm going because you will now be on the center stage with the holy spirit and they refused jesus was secured enough to finish his assignment and to step back to say spirit of the living god these are the ones that represent the next move use them mightily i will still be glorified i'm digressing to make this statement so that you will understand i have seen a lot of people who started great things in the body and today they are not benefactors of the next move because their attachment and their ego will not give them the flexibility to blend into what god was doing and so because they are they are being inert in the next move of god will have to require an explanation so they will fabricate an explanation that communicates error and they'll say forget about those people that's one of the reasons why so many people have insulted the prophetic today i know that the prophetic has its own errors i know if the prophetic has its own imbalances but many people because the dealings of god at that time did not open up to this dimension there are people for instance who will see what just happened here and say no way god does not move like this this is nonsense just because god did not move the way he was moving before does not mean he's not the one moving the flexibility to discern the next move of god and that if you are interested you open up your heart and say lord i must not pioneer that move to join what you are doing if it is god and it brings glory to you i'm on my way going it's a very difficult if you are a follower it's okay but if you are one who moves why will you see mary among the 120 sitting quietly i have looked for certain names who were once great names in the body in as much as the move of the spirit within their time was there and those names are almost silent and there has been no interest to find out what else is God doing and sometimes they have begun to teach that look anything that is outside the scope of what we know is nonsense that is a dangerous thing that is the mistake of John John would have followed Jesus quietly and he would have died honorably there would have been no reason for being beheaded in every crusade Jesus would have given him honor even the scribes were given honor as terrible where they never sat outside they sat inside they hated him but at least they followed they followed nicodemus came one day and said jesus let me tell you we are not stupid we know we know we see what you are doing we see the formation of a new move we know that you are a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him except god be with him i'm taking our time to establish this before we begin to build i just felt it strongly in my spirit to tell us do you know why i'm saying this zaria hear me you are a privileged place this is a place that god has put his hand very strongly and many people from here listen god is distributing people from this city across several places and you see when you get to some of those regions you will be surprised that as cheap as some of these revelations we trivialize are you will find out that some of those regions are in utter scarcity and you will be so relevant within a period and if you do not sustain the discernment to know what next when people come into that dimension and you don't know how to come up hither you will be in big trouble you will become the biggest
greatest enemy to the next move of God. Alexander the way was a mighty, mighty healing evangelist. Listen carefully. He created what we call Zion, the Zion city. Are we together now? When, you know, then they didn't have internet and communication was not strong. So you couldn't know what was happening in, in another part of the world. The way was doing a mighty, mighty work. Until a strange woman later appeared called Maria Woodward Eater. Listen. When Maria Woodward Eater appeared, she introduced a dimension of the move of God that they call presence evangelism. That was when people would fall down like this and literally freeze in the same position for hours having heavenly encounters and she was a woman until then the way was not aware that something was happening at the other side of the world the day alexander the way heard it history has it this is confirmed alexander the way told everybody that this woman number one as a woman Number two, this dimension was occultism. And he used his influence to fight that woman. Her first husband joined that conviction and fought her till he died. The current move of God usually will be the biggest challenge to the next move of God. The same way the law was the biggest challenge to the grace of God. Remember that the Sanhedrin council started by the impartation of the spirit of Moses upon 70 elders. That's how it started. Eventually it had now become a religious place. And when Jesus came, they could not even identify him. So John had exhausted all his revelation within a dimension he had seen had john returned back john would never believe that there were higher dimensions but then the angel told him come up here please prophesy to somebody say come up here come up here and i will show you the things that must happen I call what I just explained to you the tragedy of complacency that comes with a successful move of God. It is a complacency. It is, it is, it is weaved in men. It is a weakness in men. That when, when you are successful in executing God's desire for a season, usually the impetus to inquire lord can there be more will not be there because there are obvious evidences nobody can come and say you are not anointed nobody can say you are not intelligent the records are there to show that you are anointed the records are there to show you have built a great church the records are there to show you are mighty let me give you an instance in nigeria today the pattern of church growth is that there usually will be a central church like a headquarters is that true and then you will now have branches all together connected do you know that was not how it was before there was a move of god that brought that formation do you know what the next move is because many young people in our generation now have every dimension you climb has the strategy for the move of god i'm not saying that is wrong you understand what i'm saying so the way god revealed to our fathers most of them you will find out that there is a central headquarters is that true that coordinates everything then there are branches around the world it was never like that in the history of nigeria in fact before that time the strategy was to have a small church and be dangerously anointed and just hide there like a seer and your job is to part and release people that was the strategy men like apostle babalola it was after his death that csc expanded like that the, the apostolic church and, and all of that when you read about them most of the great pioneers of the churches we have today especially around the west when they were the way they were they were small look at redeem for instance the founder they had not received the blueprint of establishment and expansion like that our fathers stayed with god and god said for this move 
that I am bringing. This is the strategy I am revealing. Are you seeing that now? But as wonderful as that is, it can be dangerous for someone in our generation to just mechanically begin to envisage because in the next 20 years technology has taught us that you must be at the cutting edge of evolution the same way it is scientifically that's the same way it is spiritually so if in our generation your dream is to have branches in every state you are already at the verge of missing something serious because that is not the pattern that will come we must be able to stare and say lord what is the pattern as at the time that move started there was no internet to agree so the advantage of connectivity was not there do you know what the move of god will be now that internet is an advantage that a man can sit in his room and be talking to the whole world it's dangerous to be where god was it's dangerous to be where God was he said holy holy is the Lord God Almighty who was who is and who is to come it's a dangerous thing to be where God was it's a dangerous thing to be involved in what God was doing you have to posture yourself to be relevant in what God is doing and what he's about to do your current level at your current spiritual level you can only see what God is doing that's the limit if you want to see the future you must come up here from revelations 1 to 3 there was nothing futuristic it was a revelation of things that were and the things that are the moment he wanted to see the next program of God he was asked to rise to a higher dimension if you're with me say amen. amen so we must trust God for grace to conquer what I call the tragedy of complacency please be careful when you are the greatest of your kind within a territory pray more fast more because the rest are waiting for you to move and if you don't move just like you they will stay and can I tell you something usually when the move of god comes all the followers are just faster because there is no embarrassment like the disciples of john it is usually you you see which is also another reason why listen men of god we must teach as though there is more in god it is dangerous that you are teaching doctrines doctrines will not change they are exact spiritual precepts given to the saints but when you are studying the life the character of god you must create a lot of flexibility and i'm the position of a student even before your members so that there is no embarrassment if and when you have to adjust to the things that god is doing if you're with me say amen mm. an arrival mentality is a dangerous mentality for a christian for a man of god an arrival mentality i've seen miracles i've seen signs i've seen wonders i've seen the move of god but could that could could it be that there's more in god than you've not seen now i'm going to make a very serious statement i want you to listen mention names is a father of faith that has gone to be with the lord respected voice in the body a great well, I call him great grandfather now Papa E. Hagen when you read Hagen's books and you see a lot of things that Hagen wrote you will know that Hagen was absolutely at the cutting edge of what God was doing at his time but when you read Papa Hagen's books with the lens of what God is doing now you will find a lot of gaps and the need for improvement which is proof he succeeded it's not proof that he's weak it's proof that he succeeded he left us a template a ladder to build upon it was papa hagin that wrote things like the anointing of the spirit the only medium that the anointing can move upon is a prayer cloth 
and he's right because he saw it in the bible but now we know that that is not absolutely true it was a dimension of truth that was seen based on him the anointing of the spirit is as limitless as god himself are you getting what i'm saying now it's very important let me tell you this i have seen visions of the coming move of god and i have been stretched myself because of the dimension of the things that will happen those dimensions will be fought tooth and nail when i say tooth and nail there are dimensions that even as a strong believer you will need grace from god you will need to look well from the lens of scripture is the reason why god is grounding us on the word now so that when that dimension comes the your dexterity in the word will make you <laughs> listen to what i'm telling you there are things we have not yet seen on earth that must happen before christ comes the bible records it there are dimensions we have only spoken about the prophet said it if as i'm standing here right now you just see this mic on the table and i'm out i'm gone by this night an internet is going to say finally exposed the voodoo power even from this example some of you are already afraid for me apostle don't do it oh you see let me tell you this yet we read in the bible that the spirit took philip and told him to join the chariot of a man not in a vision a man dematerialized entered the realm of the spirit reformed back and stayed on a chariot and the eunuch was afraid he didn't run away he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this he told nathaniel that you will see heavens opened and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man let me tell you this the miracles that have stretched us now and the dimensions of the power and the word of god will be child's play compared to the things that god has because the pride of men and this cosmos there must be the introduction of something so divine and powerful to bring the kings to their knees this current level cannot bring the kings to their knees again you can what you call now the move of god go to dubai go to singapore go to the u.s and challenge them they will look at you and say stupid this is what you came to tell me let me tell you the truth we are not going to win the world just by charity i believe in charity don't get me wrong but right now the church is beginning to be so afraid they don't have any other superior result so they just have to blend to feed the poor so that that's the only condition to be accredited by non-christian organizations that the, the world's interpretation of the church's relevance is feeding the poor and hungry and i don't have a problem with it but they are reducing us so everybody's now saying look it looks like the court the in thing now if you don't want to be criticized quietly find orphans or find widows buy sewing machine and color or something just share and snap and the world will say well done this is what you the colder you are the more the world says well done we are now seeing what you are doing there are tv programs today that will not air koinonia like this with what happened no way no way with the move of god like this someone shouting <clears throat> you are creating controversy that will make the regulatory agencies get into trouble like i said if you're a new believer tonight you will need extra grace from god that's why i i pre-warned you already ahead of time we need something more than what we have now to bring the arrogance of the kings of the earth let me tell you they have prosperity they have health do you know that most of what we claim the power of god does we don't even have it well mention three or four things the only thing that the church now in as much as we know can boast of one salvation 
Two, the personal communion of the Holy Spirit. Three, the peace that surpasses all understanding. But as far as anything earthly is concerned, and the things I just mentioned are the things we don't emphasize. Most of the things we emphasize are the things we cannot defend. So we talk a lot about the miraculous. And while we are making all that noise, someone in Dubai has discovered a way of just making what we would do as a miracle cheap. And they will soon make it easy. And if that happens, we are going to be in trouble. Because a day will come on a crusade ground, just sharing a fence will be a free medical outreach with sophisticated machines. And those who are not healed in our meetings will just enter there quickly. And in five minutes, they are giving when that happens i'm not being sarcastic when that happens let me tell you something will go wrong because one day the government can shut down a church and say we have examined and we cannot see your relevance the church is more than a charity organization it is our fear and our inability to rise higher we have a, remember there was a time where the healing ministry the prophetic and all these things was cast on earth. The world had not caught up with that dimension. So if you had it, you could shine. But not now. Not now. Put a poster and put a wheelchair up. Nobody could dare question a miracle before. But right now, someone will come in that crusade ground. You will think he came to be blessed. He's videotaping everything from your face to the person on the wheelchair. They will go and examine the person and say was that leg going to work anyway or was it your prayer that made it work if i have malaria and i've started taking anti-malaria and i'm on day four and you pray for me was i going to be healed anyway or was it the prayer that brought it this is the judgmental spirit that our generation has in the days of our fathers nobody will ask that question it will be on paper mighty things are happening and a crowd now mighty things draw criticism our generation let me tell you this as some of our parents who are here there were many things that they knew that was not the best but they had an unflinching loyalty for the voices in their time nobody would dare stand up and question a man of god if they were not satisfied they will leave him and go home and pray for him remember that talk of pray for him right now a man can be preaching and a young man can stand up and say sir what you are saying no and create a debate there welcome to a new level of living where if we don't get the strategy for now we will be in trouble are we together thank god for prosperity but of the forbes hundred richest people i'm not sure there are up to 10 of them who are tongue systems so using physical wealth to bring the world to his knees is almost a failed project because there are some of these people who have given 95 percent of their wealth i'm not aware of any believer who has done that now i may be wrong but i'm not aware it means he must take something more than money If it's education, the best institutes in the whole world are not Christian institutes. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you. Whether it's research, whether it's medicine, whether it's whatever, we have to be honest. If it's in, the term, in terms of well-meaning uh, civilization and all of that, go to hedonistic nations that have no hope for God and look at level of development infrastructure. You look at all of these things many of them are already the future of africa in the next 30 years now what then will bring the kings of today's world to their knees when moses went with a rod to meet pharaoh pharaoh said nonsense you left the wilderness to come and show me a rod to become a snake i am pharaoh you show me more We can sing songs and fall down in the church congratulations but let me tell you we need to take something out that can bring the kings to their knees in babylon babylon was a place of wizardry there was something that happened with daniel there was something that happened with shadrach meshach and abednego that made the king to testify 
the king passed a decree unanimously that nobody should bow to any other god again except the god of shadrach meshach and abednego are we blessed we must receive grace to not ever believe that what we have seen is all there is we must obtain grace please hear me if you have history here thank god for the wonderful things but you must obtain grace the second point on what i want to talk about tonight i'm just charging your mind the first i, I put it as the tragedy of complacency and arrival mentality the second is a condition that must be needed and met in a life if you will ever attract the hand of god that will take you to a higher dimension is called hunger and thirst it's not enough to be ready to move to another level hunger and thirst are accurate measures of your spiritual health the same way when a patient is sick one of the symptoms in most cases is that you lose appetite when you lose appetite spiritually something is wrong matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness it says that they will be filled hunger and thirst john chapter 7 and verse 37 let's read it very quickly boy my time is gone john 7 and verse 37 look up please in the last day the great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if you do not thirst you can stay with what i've given with all the days but in this new I have been visiting you but on this last day if you are still tested come listen listen and understand what he's saying remember that it was not the first day the last day they had benefited from all the other days but in the last day he said if any man thirst let him come you have enjoyed the move of god before you have seen the hand of god before you have seen the grace of god before you have seen the sick healed before and god is saying in 2019 if there is any man that still thirst come if there is any church that is still thirsty come koinonia if you still believe there is more and you desire come that means if you are not thirsty you can go it's all right if any man thirst let him come hunger and thirst powerful without hunger and thirst there is no appetite and there is no desire for more of god this teaching you hear me tell you tonight if you don't hunger after it will not make sense you want to listen to something else this is a teaching for people who know that there can be more this is a teaching for many people who know that lord seen you or oh, i've seen you do a lot of things but i know that there is more in you there is more in you this was the mistake of lucifer lucifer saw a dimension of god he was the custodian the librarian of heaven and by the strength of everything he saw he believed he had exhausted all there was in god and then he wanted to rise to run a parallel government with god and there was judgment in heaven and he was brought to his knees that was why when god was recreating man it surprised him because he didn't know that those possibilities were there they were not captured in the truths that were given to him reproduction multiplication through reproduction had never happened it was creation now that a man one man can meet with his wife and have a child that will own ah said something is wrong and so the angels came to meet with the daughters of men to use that strategy to create something else hunger and thirst 
one of my prayers a man of god every time i said lord please you know i've shared it with you here lord do not show me the extent of my impact it's my prayer and i'm saying it even as i'm preaching here just give me a token let me just see a bit of what you are using me to do and i'm grateful and i'm satisfied let me tell you if you think fame cannot influence you think again hmm. was it not the same alexander the way that went to a tailor went to a fashion designer to sew just mantle with the cap that kind of prophet chef cap he sold everything and tied his ghetto behold elijah he read the bible and said this man is me now what is this what have, what has he done that i'm not doing they first started saying you are elijah they know no all glory be to the lord but the time came they said you are elijah it's true there are things you will not believe now keep rising tomorrow they will say it and you will believe it how do you think people become jesus i don't mean image of jesus likeness of jesus some gentlemen came here one time from Kano. Remember those that those Jesus guys and the apostles? Now I say I don't know if you are here, but they came some gentlemen immediately after service. And one of them came for altar call. As soon as they were done, I just saw the gentleman. He said he's was it Judas? One was Judas, one was Jesus, and this young man came from Kano. As soon as I saw them, I gave them a big hug. I said, Look, uh, my, my Jesus friend, let me tell you something. You are in the image listen please i'm teaching you are in the image of christ yes are we together you have attained oneness with christ based on the doctrine of the gospel yes you are in christ one with christ yes are we together now the holy spirit represents the presence of jesus in your life yes but that you are jesus in terms of replacement you are not like that do you think that guy got born again like that not seen people pray under a tree for many weeks and by the fifth week they left that tree mad with strange revelations from beings that were not of earth pride is a dangerous thing fame has a side effect when you begin to clap for you sometimes it becomes embarrassing to step back and let jesus be seen because spotlight is sweet oh oh mine mediocre spotlight can can bless your children's children so when the spotlight is on you you plan to be there forever so that when you shift your child too will be there when you shift your grandchild too will be there but there are times when jesus says that you decrease that you will increase and many times it is embarrassing you know i go for meetings and when i see the mighty things that god is doing or sometimes when i'm teaching and the teaching grace is really on me i see the shock and the wonder on the people and i say oh dear don't be deceived you're only watching a puppet there is one behind me may i never be ashamed to let the world know that i am nothing without him this is not just some humility creed there are many proud people who say this thing i'm saying it's very true you must get to a point in your life where you are not ashamed to stand back and tell the people it is jesus jesus ever jesus only he says and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men to myself let's get back to what we're discussing hunger and thirst there are times as a man of god come it will be embarrassing at your spiritual level to now join the flock to kneel down and cry for his a greater dimension you kneeling down for the flock can kneel down i'm kneeling down this guy is standing <laughs> are we together watch this a time a time can come huh when everybody is crying for more people are rolling on the ground and saying lord search my heart and as a man of god it's not any personality difference you have led them to the throne room and you are just standing there there's no need because you have become the throne room yourself you see deception is subtle 
so you would tell them to fast and you too you will not fast what is the need i mean whether i fast or not you see that if you want to be captured in every move of god same hunger that made you climb a tree like a monkey and held on to one branch and cried there and said god i will not come down from this tree except you bless me and god said come down i will show you what you want to see if that same hunger is not there now you can stay in a five-star hotel listen now you have all kinds of entourage do you know sometimes i look at my life today and i thank god for what god has done many times there are times that i wish that i had my life back in the days when nobody knew me fame can be destructive even to your spiritual life i can't go out freely i can't eat freely i can't be myself you see that i can't stroll out to just enjoy what god is doing if someone there catches me there instead of coming to join the light now that i've seen him let me just quickly it's a very embarrassing life it looks like fame but it's dangerous time today is a luxury you must intentionally sometimes close the door to some of this comfort and retreat back listen to me and say lord this is still your boy of before again oh they now call me apostle joshua selman but this is still your boy again and god says are you still as hungry as before he say hungrier than before oh god after the miracles yes sir after the fame yes sir hmm. and then he says now i will take you and show you higher things hunger can be discerned and let me tell you this if you're a man of god please listen your congregation will be a reflection of your hunger the moment you become complacent that impartation will come on them they will strangely find out that the grace is no longer there everybody say hunger hunger almost 80 to 85 percent of the time if you meet me if i'm not studying i'm listening to a message or something there are times I just return from administration right there just entering my hotel room you would think I should lie down and cross my leg I started playing a message before I quickly went to go and preach now that I'm back thank God for the mighty things sincerely God is my witness there are a few times that I think about a meeting and what happened once I leave that place it's all right if you ever ask me how is the meeting the only thing you will hear is fine doesn't matter what happened the answer is fine that's it one of the mighty things that happened here fine a few times some of you send me pictures and clips of what happened and i look at it whoa you mean this what happened lord i give you praise let's continue do you know why because you see you prepared for today yesterday you don't prepare for tomorrow tomorrow you prepare for tomorrow today they are celebrating what you did yesterday if you are not doing anything today there will be nothing to celebrate tomorrow listen to me you have to learn this those who win olympic as soon as they are done they rest for a while go on a vacation one month and they're already preparing for the next olympic champions don't rest champions move not in a competitive manner there is more in god listen to me you are not going to clap for me now because someone fell under the anointing you may do that for your president in your small fellowship you're not going to say glory be to god koinonia was powerful because someone was shaking no there are testimonies today that if you hear in another church you will stand up and clap i watch here somebody will give a very big testimony and koinonia will just clap one hand and say is this it go and sit down we want something more and you are right you are right because your capacity is being expanded that means yesterday's food will not feed you give an adult a baby's food and you say this is for what the baby is grateful for having it but the adult is still hungry 
don't you know that the more you grow the more the nourishment must be strong in size and quality the burden of being at the cutting edge of God's move will require you to be listen listen that hunger must remain in you that hunger must remain in you you see all the wonderful things that just happened when the, the meeting just started I go back to God let me tell you something with me and God there are few times and I want to be very sincere with you God is in this place there are few times where God comments on any meeting that I've gone to no this is the realm of champions you don't talk like mediocres I don't come back to God and God says ah son you did a great job in that crusade what for no. let's continue the training like a coach looks at an athlete you are the best in the field and after they snap you and do everything the coach is watching you not in anger he's impressed and once you come he says go and change your clothes wait for me in the field it's proof of his love you have conquered that standard and he takes you higher this is what happened to david david was so david exhausted the realm of his generation and rose up into another realm and began to see the coronation of the messiah the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand no other prophet saw that it was david that understood the excellency of the spirit the spirit was never given without measure to people please listen and now david had got it he said cast me not away from your presence take not other prophets were comfortable with the holy spirit going and coming david said but i've seen that a move of god will come when this grace the spirit will come and stay lord can i not enter that move hunger hunger took david to the secret place as a king the palace did not mean anything to him he said i'd rather be a doorkeeper i'd rather be an usher let me be an usher the next move than to be a lord in the former move hunger and thirst for you dry and weary land I hunger and thirst for you Try and feel your land For all I want is you hey. In spite of the miracles in spite of the revelations, I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Yeah. Sing it from your heart. All I want is you. Lord, thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the miracles, for the word of knowledge, the prophetic. But Lord, I thank you for yesterday's wine, but I need the wine of today and tomorrow. I hunger and thirst. must trust God for your secret place to have such a high standard that no matter what you are doing currently when you get back to the secret place you will see that it's a step out of the if your bar is too small pride will kill you if your bar is too small one successful program will kill you that's why you see all these young guys listen listen sometimes i talk to them and i encourage them don't let successful programs enter you don't let successful concerts enter you 
are you seeing that there are people whose spiritual lives went down there are people who could not pursue and seek after god again the next move of god success can depreciate your pace because when you are motivated by a need to hit a standard listen it will give you an impetus but where there is no where there is nothing to prove again there is no hunger when you go for a meeting today whether you say god bless you and leave nobody will ever say oh he doesn't have revelation oh come on the track record is there nobody will ever say oh he cannot heal that's why he just did altar call and sat down when you are starting out in ministry the pressure to make your calling and election choice upon you so even in five minutes you want to do everything at once you want to prophesy you want to give word of knowledge you want to heal you want to share the latest revelation but as god begins to crown your 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 your, your life with undeniable graces and honor you get to a point where the pressure to rise is not there and it shows that you have plateaued it shows that you have arrived but when your hunger remains ah. when i was preparing this message i was praying for my own self i said lord my hunger should be larger than every anybody's own in this ministry otherwise how can i lead hunger i've prayed for but show me something else about prayer i've seen your power before but show me the one I've not seen. I've seen your anointing. But show me something else. I have seen the spirit of revelation. But show me something else. I have seen angels. But show me another dimension. At the apex of his apostolic ministry. Look at a man's hunger. That I may know him. That I may know him. Paul. I hope you know the doctrine of scripture starts from the writings of paul the acts of the apostles down to revelation the gospels do not contain doctrines no the doctrines of scripture are embedded there some of them were just shadows as presented paul single-handedly wrote to third do you know what it means for a man to create the study curriculum of the church it was not just jesus that wrote it Paul sat down and wrote to thirds. The, the limit of our spiritual growth is scripture. That is the boundary given to us for growth. And a man sat down by the spirit and wrote it. Yet when that man finished writing it, he said that I may know him. That I may know him. Oh God that I may know you. That I may know you. I have seen your power but that I may know you. A man of God said he went for a pastor's conference one time and Pastor E.A. Adeboye was there. And when it was time for all the men of God to pray, he said he wanted to lie down close to him to hear what kind of prayer a man at this realm would pray. And he said when he lay down all through for more than one hour, all that he was saying is mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord mercy the young minister there is in power power lord result open doors oh god offering send help us that 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 small kiosk like building must be completed whereas there is a man here with kilometers as an estate and his language and his desire mercy he has learned that one of the most important things is the mercy of god Are you getting what I'm telling you now? Hunger. Hunger. If you're a pastor here, please minimize just praying for power and cry for hunger. Go back and buy the same new notebooks you bought that the spirit of revelation came to honor it. You have stopped buying it. Go and buy them again. 
go and find a place where you used to sit alone with God I'm too busy I have counseling to do I have mentees and sons in ministry and you would die there and they will go to the next move because they are followers you are worried and obsessed about many things but one thing is needful to sit at the master's feet please listen to me the things you did that brought you to this realm go back and start creating the atmospheres for them again hear what i'm telling you this is not the issue of i'm a big man now no 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 have my notebooks you see my notebooks I can I can gather all of them for you from the time I started working with God when I go for retreats I go with all of them all of them Lord what did you say my God look at what you said I bought new ones for tomorrow I buy it like this and I show the Lord I said Lord see it your student is here again packs of viral I'm ready because if you are not ready to hear and listen and write he's not ready to speak the level that koinonia is right now is already exhausted there i'm already preparing and aligning for the next seasons not today the preparation of yesterday brought us to where we are today thank god for what god is doing around the world through this ministry but my brothers and my sisters is child's play and if we remain complacent clapping we will become like the old wine we must be at the cutting edge of god's move through hunger genuine hunger oh that will have men and women of god again who will organize program for others but for yourself you organize a program with the same energy for others for yourself hunger next point my time is up my god you want to come up higher in the spirit You will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication please write it down this is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable if it is the next level and the next move of god there is no there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Please write it quickly. Call on to me and I will answer. The revelation is an answer. It's a response. I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience. Call on to me. Call on to me. Let me tell you something I've observed. And I, I say this respectfully. And I think it's a correction that the body of Christ needs to get there are few believers who pray for edification most believers have left the ministry of edification to prayer most of our prayer is either warfare or request there's nothing wrong with warfare there's nothing wrong with request but let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in english you are not just entering to harass god you are not just entering to say lord there are powers sitting on my destiny leave destiny the goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible it's why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of god will come on the wings of genuine prayer 
thank God for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can I tell you this those who were here many years ago in Zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by God around there were few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request believers who gather and just are praying no prayer point no prayer request is towards the end of the prayer they'll just say lord just to let you know we have not eaten and we trust your grace for supplies just to let you know that we have this 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 issue but the average believer right now prays but our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust the need for things so i can go to pray and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing god when will the power come oh god is that prayer that's inquiry you've not started praying there are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not if a prayer point is not raised you want them to pray you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say so oh, i now follow and, and pray it turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when so all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the Holy Ghost if you were not filled with the Holy Ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the Holy Spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing Bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at Jesus the Word of God filled with the Holy Spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched Gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies I agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with God you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you, put it, you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something 
there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy people around crying for Benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes Lord a, a double portion of what is on Benny Hinn let it, and God is trying to say no 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 I can give you just I don't want any he, who, you know if you are God you give good gifts to those who love you and God said this is not how it works have regard for Benny Hinn, not just God you want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back five minutes snoring back no revive your prayer life revive your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life please hear me revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to grow that's how many of us enter the realms of visions it was not a conscious request you pray your way till you break the gates that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray they are praying for me that's a deception is a deception from the pit of hell let me tell you this if you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer there is a signature that that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one mm -mm, you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying it's because the leaders don't pray you only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you please learn to pray don't pray when you have a meeting this is what people do when they have conferences they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer I'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of God said something that blessed me I think it was Dr. Paul Enenche I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belonged to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. i don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house i didn't like it so i left the house the tree goes with it 
when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator i'm the coordinator of a prayer group so i pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no 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 make deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me Zechariah chapter 12 we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior box a lens every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together this is god for you listen my prayer is that after this meeting eh, listen you not only will receive miracles but you begin to covet your life being a sign and a wonder don't just be a recipient of god's benevolence but that you are like a canvas when there are some paintings when you see artists draw you just ask what was in the mind of this let god reveal to you what his mind can do I don't like ordinary things in my life. I like things in my life that come with a statement. This is God. And someone will look at you and not even know how to smile again. He says, this thing, eh? it has to be God. He will just go back and say, Lord, I'm sorry for being foolish. You see, he has repented without your sermon. Your life was a sermon. They limited God in the wilderness. Listen, let me tell you this. Don't get used to pain don't get used to pain there is an ability from heaven that can crush the gates of darkness i know we are human beings and many times when things become increasingly uncomfortable we build a theology around them to say it should 
continue but this night roll away the stone and let the God of heaven come in and show you that with men it is impossible but with God all things all things are possible every time I pray for the miracle service I don't pray for too many things I don't pray God heal the sick cast out devils no that's not my prayer Lord let there be something sign a signature upon someone's life upon someone's family you know I was spending a little time with my family in the afternoon and while we're talking about this my sister was speaking and said that um, that it looks like this miracle service God is visiting families not just individuals he just wants to move past individuals remember I told you you are not free when your family is not free let me tell you sincerely he said as for me and my house if the, jo the brothers of Joseph all had dreams nobody would kill anybody it was because only one over how many had dreams and the rest said you are joking you saw the sun the moon and 11 stars bow But when everybody rises by the finger of God, then it is a testimony. I don't know who has said what about your life and about your family, but give God a few minutes tonight to answer them. God has an answer. My brothers and my sisters, the God we serve is not man. Don't get used to it. God is not a president of a ministry. God is not the CEO of a bank. God is not the CMD of a hospital. God is not a monarch on earth waiting to die for someone. No. He sits in the circles of the heaven by himself and manipulates all things according to the counsel of his will. It will do yourself harm tonight to sit down believing it will happen just as before. Come with your vessels increased and enlarged. Lord, I know you are stepping in. I know you are changing my life. It's June, but people have laughed at me. Where is the extraordinary fruitfulness? I'm still begging. I don't even have 250000 to pay rent. My prayer life has gone down. Ha! This God of heaven. My brothers and my sisters, it doesn't take time. When God opens his mouth from heaven, anything plus anything plus God is the answer he says should be. Your weakness plus God is whatever answer he says to be. Your limitation plus God is whatever answer he will be. I continue to pray and I say, Lord, let this ministry remain not just a place of signs and wonders, but a sign and a wonder itself. If you are looking for a salmon and you don't have data, just think about koinonia. And there is salmon is you are, you are seeing a marvelous God. Listen. By the grace of God, within the time God has given us, we will, we will disprove the pride of men in this world. All of those mundane rules that have been put by the arrogance of men that they claim even God should honor, God has sent us to disprove them. That whoever told you that you have to build a house from salary. Whoever told you you have to feed your children from pension. Whoever told you that it will take 20 years to know God. Whoever told you that your ministry must increase 10 members per week. There is a generation that will answer the arrogance of men. Please don't get used to the natural course of things. There is an advantage. God programmed in the journey of the believer what I call systems of advantage. His mercy is a system of advantage. His favor is a system of advantage. It cannot happen to you the way it happens to men. Don't get used to it. I don't expect my life to be ordinary. I expect something spectacular. Every day like a soup opera, there is an episode of signs and wonders. Listen, that people can look at your life and say, let's watch God, what God will do this week because there has to be a message. It's impossible for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and there is no message. No, you are not a sign and a wonder. 
you have what it takes to do signs and wonders but God wants you to be the sign yourself to be like that star that shines in the east that when men look at you they say what manner of God is this men whom the earth was not worthy of see there is nothing the devil can do about this no there is a kind of speed that God can bring to your life regardless of who loves you or who does not love you it doesn't play any role God just sits upon you with his jealousy and decides to make a statement let me tell you fearful is the man that God decides to use as a canvas to write a statement you will look for their downfall wasting your time they will just continue to rise held by the jealousy of God himself Are we together now? Please sit down. God can choose to love Jacob. God can choose to honor Jabez. God can choose to lift Rahab. God can choose to turn the story of Ruth around. God can choose to cause Abraham to be the father of nations. He is God. Who should he consult with? Where is the parliament that must accredit him? Listen. We live in a proud world where men sit down and make it look like I am the reason for your lifting. If you ignore me, you will die. And while it is true that men are pipes, we have 7.2 billion of them. That's enough variety for God to choose. No single man can get up in arrogance and Forget your destiny. No. I'm shaking off fear and unbelief from you. So that when we begin to minister, you don't just stand. Some of you may have written some things in your prayer request and left others because you have convinced yourself that God cannot go that far. My brothers and sisters, what does God need to do in your life again? For you to believe that he is mighty. Hallelujah. I told the Lord something. I said, Lord, let my life be a sign and a wonder. A testament of what you can do with a man that loves you. Much more than celebrating a man like you did. It is, it is the celebration of God and the possibilities that he can birth on earth. That my life will not limit God. No way. I like the things men say cannot be done. If it is God that says it cannot be done, I will not even try it. Because it's a waste of time. But if it's man that says it cannot be done, I say, God, what do you say? Huh. When Jesus came, he said, you say this in your law, but this is what I say. You say this in your law, but this is what I say. Like he's speaking to someone. They said this in your family, but this is what I say. He can veto anything and turn a man's life around. Hallelujah. Someone gave me a very humorous testimony. I think it was yesterday. They had been trying to pursue something that has to do with the dad. And, um, uh, you know... I think the dad is, is, is in the force or something and they are just deprived that man for five years I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken no salary no benefits because some ammunitions were missing and they traced to, to him imagine a breadwinner of a family for about five years things went down and you know if, if he wins the case they will have to restore everything plus damages are we together and they kept manipulating manipulating and i think just yesterday i was told that was it yesterday or i think this week the verdict came out and came out in the father's favor i said you should start dancing in your household because whether the devil likes it or not everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you Everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Things never get missing. They only leave you. They are still on earth. Everything that leaves a man does not go out of the earth realm. It is only within a distance that is beyond your reach. There is a force from heaven that sustains an ability to call the things that be not and draw them. There is a force of attraction. I prophesied as I was commanded. It says, and the bones, they were all there. Just because you cannot see them does not mean they are not there. Everything you are looking for is looking for you too. And there is a force that can connect you to them. Please listen, I'm not just motivating you. The things that we have heard, the things we have seen, the things that our hands have handled. That who is he that saith the thing and it comes to pass? That God did not vet it and approve it? Let God be true and let every man, including your situation, be a liar. Listen to me. Please hear me. A miracle service is not just the time to pray for the sick. Not everybody is sick. You see the level of high blood pressure disturbing young people now? You see people talking like fools on the road. Someone in early 20s talking to himself, moving around. This our road from here to Abuja, almost every day someone is dying. Nobody leaves his house to die. Worry. Pastors collapse on stage. I've told you that there is a technology that sends Israel to Egypt. It's called hunger. Every time there is hunger, Israel must go to Egypt to find bread. Genesis 42. Please give it to us. Let's just read it. I apologize, the projection is not very clear, but just see that scripture. Now, everyone read, if you can see it. We're reading one and two. Ready? Read. Now, when Jacob saw that there was what? Corn. Where? In Egypt. Jacob said unto his sons, why do ye look upon one another? Verse two. And he said, behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. This is a prophet. But lack of corn was making him mortgage his children. Go to Egypt. I'm a prophet but we're about to die. And I hear that wherever there is corn, that's where people go to. Look, let's not lie to ourselves. Wherever there is corn, that is where people go to, including a prophet. He had, because the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all. And that even the king is fed from it. When there is corn in Egypt, believers will have to go down there. We need time to serve the Lord. We need time to bear the revival that he wants to bring. We need time to pursue the purposes of the kingdom. But that time cannot be given to you when you spend your life looking for corn in Egypt. It's a cost to go down to Egypt. But if that is the only place that has corn, then you will have to go down to eat. And then there arose another Pharaoh that knew not Joseph. And the people of God got into servitude and slavery. Don't mind the ignorant people who say it doesn't matter. You just serve God like that. According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Everyone say after me, life, godliness. Life, godliness. There are things that pertain unto godliness. Your character, your work with God, your prayer life, your spiritual development. Those are things that pertain unto godliness. But there are things that pertain unto life. Your children's school fees, your accommodation, the well-being. That any man who is unable to cater for his family, according to scripture, has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So when the devil wants to discourage you as a man of God, you're preparing a sermon and here comes your son with a PTA letter. And your eyes, the letter is usually typed. 
except where the money will be they write it with biro and the price is doubled you stand there wanting to kill your son why has the school fees been doubled and the child said they just gave me to give you and you look at it your salary is not increased nothing else is increased but the bills are rising the devil wants to send you to Egypt a time will come what, what you would not do yesterday you will now do tomorrow on the strength of the pain hunger can take men to Egypt hallelujah a dear man of God called me I think two weeks or so I don't know him so much and from one of these nations and he called me and was lamenting he said apostle pray for me our ministry is under serious financial attack he said right now honestly the way things are we may not even be able to hold our service because the bills you know things are going down economically and the givings of the people also seem to have followed and you know i got angry in my spirit i said this is the kind of news satan wants because you see very soon the devil will bring one rich man who will pocket that ministry because of one million or one five or ten million or whatever it is that he gives you will lose your voice lose your relevance lose your integrity on the platter of hunger was it not hunger that made Esau to sell his birthright? Only an irresponsible ministry will not address the issue of hunger that is going on. There are many things to address, but hunger should be one of them. Believers are hungry. They need a technology that is higher than what has been proposed. Let me tell you, there is a part which no fowl knoweth. The webs of the lion has not gotten there. There are dimensions reserved for these times when God will bring out as a display of his intelligence. Do you not know that the strategy of saving 20% was God's intelligence? It's not just an economic strategy. There is always a reservoir in God's intelligence. For times when people cry, when the saints cry, God will say, show them that the wisdom of God is inexhaustible. Health care is one of the devourers in our world today. Do you know how much it takes to treat people? Once your son is sick, you are crying already because you know. How much does it take? We have so many doctors here. One of our doctors came and I asked him to check a woman. And when he brought the list for the x-ray, I said, I will buy that machine. Oh. As, as that, do, <laughs> and open an x-ray, an x-ray place. I mean, how much? Not the whole body. I don't know what part of the body it was. But when I saw the bills, I said for x-ray. And almost every day, someone has to go there. If you are collecting 50,000 naira and you use 30,000 for x-ray, there is no reason why that child will give you joy. Are we together? Anything that child does will annoy you. And then help that child. Let him not take first or second or third. You will almost kill the child. There are real issues that we cannot laugh at. Real issues. And this night, God is determined to rise up and not only step in, but turn things around. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Thank you. John chapter 10 and verse 10, please. It says, the thief cometh not. There is a name Satan is called. And here he is called the thief. Are we together? If someone knocks your gate and you say, who is that? He said, the thief. You don't need to ask him what tribe, what gender. You will call the police immediately and say, there is a thief. There is an armed robber in front of my house. And Jesus is speaking here. And he says, the thief cometh not. That means you will never see him around. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So everywhere you see stealing, killing and destruction. Is a signature, the thief, Satan. He comes into a joyful family. Are we together? Happy husband, come my dear. Happy wife. When the thief comes in between them, he must scatter everything. One flimsy excuse or the other. He will come in between business partners and shred them. When Satan passes a place, you know this is him. 
he will leave his signature stealing killing destruction we would be in trouble if jesus stopped there but he says i am come hmm. he didn't say i have come i am has come to bring life and that you have that life more abundantly lavishly I am come that ye may have life. I am come that ye may have solutions. I have come to show you that there is a way out of this. I am come to show you that there are possibilities. Are we together now? Now the last thing I want to say before we begin to pray. I will continue to teach this because repetition is the key to persuasion. The Bible says according as his divine power. Please give it to us. That second first, um, second Peter chapter 1 from verse 2 please grace and peace verse 2 be multiplied unto you at, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord verse 3 it says according as his divine power hath given us so what gives us in this kingdom his divine power never forget this it is not faith faith is a channel that allows his divine power to pass the agency the force that is responsible for connecting us with spiritual possibilities is his divine power for many years there has been an argument about the workings of faith and the anointing there is no argument there are we together faith is the pipe that the power of god flows to to carry supernatural solutions to you if there is no faith there is no channel of the power from the throne room to your situation it will not be possible you don't choose faith or the power of God. That's not a theology taught in the Bible. He never taught any of them in isolation. His divine power. Every request on your list will be solved by his divine power. Now let me teach you this. I've taught you again. What is on you is what controls the results around you. Please never forget this. The results around you do not fabricate themselves. The results around you are mirrors. They are a reflection of the kind, the level, the dimension of the grace that is upon you. So I can know the grace on you by looking at the possibilities in your life. I can know what grace has come upon you by looking at what changes. It is impossible to increase in grace and your possibilities remain the same. No. The testimonies that recycle around your life are an attest. They, are, they attest to the fact that this is the level and the extent of grace. Hear me. Every door can open. It just depends on the grace asking it to open. Everybody is a giver. It depends on the grace that asks them to give. Someone can refuse to bless you and yet carry a millionaire and meet someone else and say give me the privilege of blessing you nobody's really stingy the problem is that these possibilities don't happen in the earth dimension they are realities that are finished in the realm of the heavens and only executed the earth is a realm of execution the same way your body is The anointing and the grace on your life is what controls the possibilities around you. Please listen to me. His divine power. There are doors that have refused to open. The doors are not stubborn. The doors are only obedient to the last instruction. And since the anointing speaking to it is not that high, the door will remain obedient to the last instruction. The day a higher authority speaks, that door will open, I assure you. Please don't generalize challenges. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. This is a message of hope for you to hear. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. Even the king could not solve the hunger problem of Samaria. Here comes the prophet. He did not come to solve the problem. He said, ah, okay, I see that there is a situation. Everyone was hungry except the king and the prophet. He said, by this time tomorrow. Then a foolish man said, even if God will open the window of heaven, how will these things be? 
and it says you will see it but you will not partake of it i believe in the power of god i've seen what the power of god can do stop wasting your time trying to change things physically creation has never been disobedient creation is the most obedient entity you can find the money you are looking for is not disobedient there is an unction that calls it if it's not there it is authorized to leave you creation is obedient when noah was ready to open the ark when he opened the ark there was a grace that came on every animal by themselves the bible never said noah went to the wilderness to chase them animals with no higher intelligence they found their way to the ark if animals can find their way to the ark why should your destiny helper find it difficult to find you why should breakthrough find it difficult to noah just stood there and allowed the grace to walk you rest only when the grace walks let me tell you life is hard when you are walking on your own in this kingdom we don't walk with our hands our hands only help us to receive the grace when it comes you enter your sabbath are you getting what i'm saying now the power of god is the spiritual mechanism responsible the signs and wonders that will happen in this place right now the healings and the miracles and the breakthroughs they will happen according as his divine power acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed with the holy ghost and with power he says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him there are people inside there are people outside there are people standing in such sacrifice waiting for god it will be very wicked to share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ and tell everybody bye bye return back with your challenge no i want you to believe god tonight and insist lord whatever will come upon me must come upon me whatever must change must change whatever must grow must grow whatever must die must die when there is no expectation it becomes wrong for god to visit you because one of the things that he gave men seven benefits given to man at creation one of it is the right to choose the will that god gave man is a fundamental right it's not for christians once you are a man you were given the right to choose salvation even at the detriment of your going to hell was left for your choice god will never 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 violate your right to choose i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing i can only advise you choose life i said before you prosperity and poverty i said before you success and failure i said before you spiritual growth and and a low level of spirituality it's up to you to choose i choose life oh, and everything that comes with it i choose speed i choose increase i choose honor i choose dignity i choose open doors i choose open heavens it's a choice and if you're a family man here as for you and your house you can't choose for the whole world but you can choose for your house that the favor of god can rest upon your life tonight and that within the next one month things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you if you do not believe these things exist you are not a christian a christian is not just one who is born again a christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life hallelujah i'd like you to believe god don't say i've come for miracle service before you see let me tell you the truth my assignment as a man of god is not to invite you my assignment as a man of god is to continue to grow in grace so that the things that would not answer to me in january must answer in june otherwise what is the superiority of growth if the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago 
refuses to answer now I'm only maintaining my spiritual level I'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to Jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes there is enough grace to turn the tables around the anointing works like money I've taught you it can only solve the problems that are lower than it the anointing does not generically solve every problem no no you have to understand this it's very important to know I have let me just steal five ten minutes to explain this look at this this is 1,000 Naira look at this and if I give you this 1,000 Naira it can buy a bottle of water is that true it can even buy you lunch or dinner depending on where you eat but this cannot buy you a car this cannot pay a child's school fees but it is still money so if you want to pay a child's school fees you need more of the same thing to the level that meets the demand every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it not every grace solves every problem if every grace solves every problem then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace Acts chapter 2, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 4, they were filled with the Holy Ghost again. To what end? It says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles, signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. There was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing. Gehazi carried his rod, the rod of Elisha. And he came and laid it on the dead body. The body did not rise. But when the prophet came, that dead body came back to life. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. I know men of God have prayed for you. They are not fake just because you did not get the result. It is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace. And God grants the privilege of grace. And that's why as men of God, we must continue to grow in grace. So that what we could not solve yesterday, we can now solve tomorrow. That is the proof of growth. Are we together now? We are going to pray tonight. It's going to be a very quick walk in this place. I trust God and I believe that in the name of the Lord, that things will so change in your life, it will surprise you. Please rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and begin to mention specifics. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Rise up on your feet and please pray. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. my life around turn my life around tonight turn my ministry around turn my family around is someone praying turn things around shalabarata <laughs> katos Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to be very fast. I minister by the Spirit. 
and the goal is for God to solve people's problems and deal with all the issues that are not of God praise the Lord it will be very very fast I'm not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight because I want us to finish very fast our time is gone but let your heart be open there is a God in heaven please don't be used to your situation if you're a visitor here and you came come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories uh -uh. that is not the God that we serve are we together hallelujah there are three people the power of God is coming on outside overflow one please I'd like you to bring them out here please let's start very quickly we're going to pray three people the power of God is coming upon them right now three people the power of God is coming upon them right now a very strong anointing please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray and then we'll pray when you have them please bring them very quickly the Lord is already moving listen let me tell you the truth I want you to believe believe that God will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an angel of the Lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road right now it's like smoke just moving across right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes God is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I command every oppression of darkness I want to pray now I see fire in this place this is what I'm saying by the spirit of the and listen at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus that every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ responsible for any challenge and any predicament it must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout Jesus Jesus I cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Please bring them out quickly I'm still praying The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now close doors over families Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare, be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Yes. 
Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three. Across the road. Online. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One, two, three. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, we blot out handwritings. We blot out handwritings. Bring them out. I cause altars, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states. The eastern states. Right now God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state, Enugu state, Epoi state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east. God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it. Go to Benway, Benway State. Right now, I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway, that anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State, Benway State, liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. release their destinies right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus the son of the living God things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now with the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two, let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness. Every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny, be free now. All those in front here, I decree the power that holds you. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go. Leave them now. Release their destinies right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell, I command a restoration by the spirit of the living God, by the spirit of grace. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must live your life, insist it must live your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people in the name of Jesus. Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this room. I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands. Fire from the front to the back. Everyone under any kind of yoke. Right now, as I'm passing, be free. Be free. Help them, please. Out. Now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies now. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. That yoke must let you go now. That yoke must let you go now. I'm passing this road right now. Once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow two. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your role except God is not God if there is anything sitting on your destiny must let you go right now be free be free I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now open up your gates your gates gates be open destiny be open now be open in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus. 
fire is resting on this road just right there i'm seeing someone the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now i stand by this grace please anyone here anything that is not of god sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just i'm seeing fire right now and i'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here god is saying it is over right now i'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now i'm pointing my hands to her i command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of jesus christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now bring them out I'm seeing all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now every door that has refused to open I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them I don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed I stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of Jesus receive that anointing right now speed I release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of Jesus speed in the name of Je hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the Lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them bow and the Lord is saying I should shift you by prophecy I stand right now I don't know where they are but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 17 Lord I don't know where they are here but in the name of Jesus I declare move to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborahs. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. 
the call of destiny that is upon you oh prophet of god may that fire find you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight i don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus Yahweh. Yahweh. hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people the grace for speed i'll pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium i stretch my hands at the count of three like elijah May that grace come. One, two, three. Receive that grace right now. In the main auditorium, step into the anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus. Overflow three, lift your hands. Every door that has refused to open over your ministry, over your life, held down by witchcraft, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three i'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now the lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of jesus christ an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as I'm passing this place, please, I, I'm releasing my faith. Open your mouth now and declare, Lord, it must live my life now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pray, please. All those in front here, the spirit that ties your destiny, I command at the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of God is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of Jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the Lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end the power of God is resting on someone by my left here right now receive that anointing let it go in Jesus name Be free right now in Jesus name the power of God is resting on someone here right here I'm seeing an anointing right now it's a prophetic grace there's someone here a prophetic grace is coming upon you right now by my left here in the name of Jesus drink of that anointing drink of that fountain may that grace rest upon your life right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the holy spirit look at me my friend the lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit i lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where i'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people i'm seeing the power of god like a wind just coming on them just this road right now lord where are they 
I stretch my hands right now. Right now, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over. He's taking away captivity, four of you, by the Spirit of grace. Let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a family here. Marriage does not happen in that family. But I'm seeing fire rest right now. The embargo is being broken now. The embargo is being broken. Whoever those people are, an anointing is coming on you now. For the sake of your family, that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now. It's breaking right now. In the name of Jesus. Please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. There is a call of God upon your life. An anointing is coming upon you. You will be mightily used by God. Where is that person? Spirit of the living God. The hand of God just near the gate here. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. A new dimension in the spirit. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. May you step into that level in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend. Touch this gentleman for me. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands over you. I command, I'm seeing chains all over your body. I command those chains to give way now. In the name of Jesus, release him now. Let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cut those chains. I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe. Let me pray for those here. Please, all of you right here. I'm, the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence. I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people. There is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now. In the name of Jesus, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now. Five of you, right now. These spirits, my God, my God, I'm seeing something living right now. Release them now. Release, no matter how long, release them now. It is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the living God. You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... Too much, yes. The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, be by the power of the hope. In the... There is, there is someone here. Hi. Pandemic delay over your family is breaking right now. I just... Please don't be carried away acting this thing. I passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is. But now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here, none of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you're going to sense fire come up your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray. Delay, help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. Just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. That it, is coming upon you. It's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands. May that grace begin to work effectually. Now, step into that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Among all of you from here to here, 
the grace for speed is coming on two people. Listen. Those two people will start running now. Please hold them. Hold them so they don't enjoy themselves. That anointing right now. All across. Two you can't control yourself. Hold them please. Whether you are an usher or I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see. From here. Right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight. and Help them. Help them please. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now. In the name of Jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages three miscarriages go and tell her she will have a baby girl that the Lord is giving her a baby girl in the name of Jesus I pray for you both in the name of Jesus let it come to an end right now let that captivity come to an end in the name of Jesus there's someone here your family has a court court case who is that please court case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what? What did you do? What did you do? Hold on, I have to... Where are you from? Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on, let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent, eh? Listen, when I make an altar call, run and come because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of court case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people, let I me. Mean, when God locates us like this, is because he wants to help. There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no. Where state of origin? I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? But come. I'm seeing lying down in Portacot, but uh, yes, I Portacot. You came from Portacot. Yes. Go on. I'm going to pray. For, do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation. Please, as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think. I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you, to let you know that you must not make it inside. Anywhere. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you. A loud shout. That will be...
person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you, what are you doing? What do you do? Of God, your own church, you are assisting someone. You came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother, but you came to take fire. Stand up. Why you came? Listen to me. You are going to go back and you will step into a dimension signs and wonders that will surprise you. Sarah, in the name that is above all names, every oppression over your family, I come against it right now. I'm still hearing that name, Godia. Who is that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where are you from? Huh? You are from Kad Saminaka. Hold on, please. Your sister. Blood sister. Same father, same mother. You've been praying for God to locate you. It's okay. You. Hi. The spirit of death is over your family. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people. They will come and they are calling you. Sometimes they are saying you should eat together. This is the spirit of death coming on the family. But in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you, help her. I cut spirit now. Name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love God but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend, your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. An end comes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit, everyone. My dear, look at me. I command that spirit to leave you now. Of darkness must let you go in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Madam, help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it. I command everything that is not of God to let you go now. Release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oppression leaves right now. Someone here, there is a spirit that has oppressed your family. It must go now. I command that devil of darkness, help her please. That spirit must leave now. In the name of Jesus. Please everyone pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. God is visiting us right now. One media person here. There is an anointing resting on someone. The Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family. I'm seeing it by the spirit of God. Captivity coming to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let it end now. By the spirit of the living God. Let it end now in the name of Jesus. My friend. I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you. And the Lord is wiping away infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Infirmity. Let it go right now. Please make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus the son of the living God. The spirit of death. There is a family here. That spirit must go now. The spirit of death. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. Release them now. Release them now. The spirit of death. There will be no obituary. 
I command that devil to go now. Madam, excuse me. Madam, look at me. Come. Are you a man of God? Come. You too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no, where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does Amen. it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I come from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Ah, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come. So that show me you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter. But it's you. First, that back pain. Jesus. Huh? That back pain that you have. You get up in the morning and there's severe back pain. That yes. back pain will leave you now. Amen. That's number one. Amen. Number two, the dead people you see in your dream. Eh? Sometimes you go to bed and you see dead pe people who have died. But they are alive talking to you. I need to pray for you. And then number three, God is going to visit your daughter. Tell her the month of August is a month of breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Uh, uh, Dambo International. Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, sir. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did I you know. apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing Davis. that they are going to give you a job. Ah. I will pray for you, sir, because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you, and that grace is going to come, and God will shift you to a dimension Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. Yes, sir. I have one outside. No, hold on. Don't be embarrassed, eh? I'm seeing one child, then the vision changes and I'm seeing two again. Huh? You have one, you have two. What is the mystery? Explain. Before I married her, I have a son outside. Okay, before you married her, you have a child. 
the, yes sir okay i want to pray don't don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace all the children that came out from you are great children you understand please don't fight that child eh madam you hear what i'm telling you yes i know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come but may god grant you the grace to manage things well sir there is a grace of wealth that is upon you please look at me it looks like you're a teacher but your destiny is not a teacher you are a real kingdom financier and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you please look at me you see this woman she's a good woman don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman and don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch in the name of jesus i tell you god gave you a good woman she's a good woman madam you're a good woman in the name of jesus let me pray for you sir please hold my hands in the name that is above all names i open up every closed door over your life and destiny i shift you to that realm of wealth in jesus name the person look up please the person who comes to molest you when you sleep it comes to an end now in the name of jesus every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever in the name of jesus i don't know why why are they here who is sarah Are you married? We are no more together. Huh? I have two children, but we are not together with the You are father. not together with your husband? Yes. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not, I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that he can redeem, eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. Aye. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. I'm, this, I'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you. And when that happens, then I'm going to prophesy to that one person. Right now, it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here. And the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you. Taking away sickness. My dear, in the name of Jesus, is it the same man that has the children? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why doesn't he want to marry you? He didn't pay for my dowry. He didn't pay for your dowry? Yes. Go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry. Huh? Dowry is not building project. He should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance. Please. At this level, it's no longer about their comfort. The children need a father. May God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing written in the air, polygamy. God is breaking that spirit now. No, 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 just please, just keep quiet. I'm ministering. There is a spirit of polygamy. Everybody in that family, you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone. That anointing is locating people right now to break the spirit. It's a covenant. It's not a desire. Coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble. Right now, that spirit, please help them. In the name of Jesus, inside, outside, everywhere, the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. The spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. Sir, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Port Harcourt, what do you do? Do business. You do business. But things are not going well. Yes, huh? If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you in the court because of money, debt. Huh? I hope you're not embarrassed. You came here so that I pray for you. What are you trusting God for? I'm trusting God for breakthrough in my business. Breakthrough in your business. First, your. My wife, uh, I've listened to your tape for about seven days now, and the last dream she had, you came to pray for her. And she insisted that you come through the night today. I will pray for you. More than business breakthrough, sir, is your relationship with God. Do you understand? Please don't be embarrassed, but your relationship with God. In this kingdom, we prosper as our souls prosper, not at the detriment of our soul. 
so that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life i pray that god will cause your hearts to love him more than money in the name of jesus and that in so doing he will bless you and lift you i decree and declare i don't know why all of you came but in the name of jesus i declare that everything that is not of god leaves you right now where is this lady from come where are you from i'm from nesara stage you are from where nesara how many are you i'm from extended family we are many you are plenty yes. you don't know how many yes but oh. in my mother's side we are eight two have gone we are six now are you married no the man coming around your life i drive him from your life now and forever you hear what i'm saying yes, sir. the man that i'm seeing i drive him in the name of jesus the son Amen. of the living god you will go back and you'll be surprised he will tell you there's no time he cannot call you he's busy just know that god drove him from your life to save you from trouble are you ready for a child now so you have to be careful huh i send him again in the name of jesus christ before he destroys your innocent life what do you do i learn salon huh? i'm learning salon you are, I'm not here. I'm Lenny Sanuwo. Hairdressing. Yes, sir. I'll have to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see these kind of things is a sign that you know the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people the bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of there there is a way that you are good but it's like people continue to misunderstand you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i'm seeing an anointing coming on those people that veil that covers your face always putting you in trouble I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone. Every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you're not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you're trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy. Open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you're doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction, please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Um, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen, listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC, and inside here that's overflow two um overflow three is from the end of cgc down to second equa okay you are overflow two b let's call it two b are we together then the overflow from the beginning of this fence down right down there we'll call you overflow two c please listen then there's overflow three i don't know if you understand what i'm saying this is the main auditorium this is overflow one this is overflow two then from this place down to second equa is overflow two b from that same place down is overflow two c so that so that you would know if you are trusting god no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb i'll pray for you but then all who are in here overflow one i mean overflow here please you're trusting god for healing come stand here overflow one come and stand in front of your projector stand overflow two stand in front of your projector stand overflow two a please create a space for them there overflow two a create a space for them there and then overflow two c stand in front of your projector stand 
and then overflow three you can stand in um in front of your projector stand those online connect by faith and then we'll pray we'll pray with you we're going to do this very fast we thank god there are many hands today and while they minister to you i would like you to believe god for a miracle you are a man of god you are a ministry here open up your heart and connect you are trusting god for the grace for signs wonders make sure that you connect the worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that and concurrently while that is happening please make sure you submit your prayer request everyone make sure you pen down your prayer request and then we are going to pray on it and let the god of heaven visit us right now in the name of jesus praise the lord um Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do overflow three. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow three. Um, Benga will do overflow two. Overflow two. Pastor Alpha and Ima, you do overflow one. Um, overflow one. We need a way of reaching overflow. Kenny Kenny will do overflow 2B overflow 2B will do overflow 2B and then Isaac Isaac in media he will do overflow 2C let's make it that way praise the Lord Father we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across let your healing power touch deliver set free in the name of jesus do this and be glorified even by the power of the holy spirit please we'll do it very very fast and while you are seated make sure you are agreeing releasing your faith in the name of jesus madam you lift lift your hands you this woman no the one wearing blue and white yes lift your hand I'm seeing oil coming on your head and the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you this is what I'm seeing an anointing is coming on you right now and the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life in the name of Jesus father let there be miracles signs wonders in the name of Jesus Christ amen Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request begin to pray in the spirit lord you are the god that answers prayers i decree and declare in the name of jesus pray over these requests he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever there is a covenant of answered prayer in this place lift your voice and pray father i decree and i declare i prophesy i proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people a representation of their hunger when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion are you praying decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony everything written here we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen I want you to understand that this is not a ritual this is a mystery 
Are we together now? There are all kinds of testimonies that have come. I can prophesy and there is so much. I can be limited. I cannot discern everybody's expectation. But this is a representation of your hunger. It's a representation of your tears. And let me tell you this. Please don't get familiar with this. This is not some, some spiritual thing just for the fun of it. There is power in what we are doing. It's guided by understanding. It's guided by an anointing. And God has a covenant. He's protected by his jealousy. In the name of Jesus, Paul said, For this cause I, Paul, bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, every request here that is a death sentence, cancer, HIV, and any kind of incurable disease, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. Every impossible situation represented here, may the God of wonders arise tonight in the name of Jesus and do wonders by the power of the Holy Ghost. For those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones, I declare, may the angel of God's presence, these angels that do not know time and distance, May they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and bet supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare over your life, we're entering the second half of the year. It says, revive thy work, O God, in the midst of the year. I decree and declare, every spiritual weariness, every prayerlessness, it dies right now in the name of Jesus. Passion for the things of the Spirit like never before. Hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus. I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now i decree and declare an appetite for god and the things of god i declare you receive it right now i pray over your life every long standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, by this time next month, return with your testimony. By this time next month, return with your testimony. Please believe it. Don't just shout amen, believe it. I come against patterns. You have seen it in others. You saw it in your father. You saw it in your loved ones. You saw it in your siblings. Now it's beginning to happen. By the blood of the eternal covenant, I cancel every pattern now. I cancel every pattern now. It works for everybody until it gets to your turn. Then something happens. You will see it, but you never possess it. I declare right now, that spirit that makes you to see things, and never step into it is caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands There are families where is the women that feed the men. Have you seen such families? No matter how hardworking the men are, they never feed the family. They get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend. It's an anomaly. I declare by the Spirit of God 
I'm praying for the men now. The grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early. Receive that anointing right now. It says, satisfy me early. I'm saying it again. Everybody here who is a man and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life. I decree and declare like Jacob, Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus. I pray for every Mordecai here. You have been good to others. You have been good to kings. Your records have been written but you have not been rewarded. In this season, by the Spirit of God, we open a book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain may my God give it to you. Every dying business Hear the word of the Lord. I don't care what has happened. By the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to you. Come back to life now. Come back to life now. Everyone who is in ministry here, no matter what level there are dimensions, I pray for you. You will go back to your various churches, fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire a dimension of insight you have never seen receive in the name of Jesus everyone here called barren by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus according to the time of life return with your children these are not empty prophecies believe them they are backed up by the jealousy of God they will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are. But in the name of Jesus. Every man who must arise in this season for your sake. To favor you. Wherever they are around this globe. By the spirit of grace. I call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. The Bible says that strangers shall feed your flock. It says your gates shall be open continually. It shall not be shut day nor night. That you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. People you do not know. I compel them to be interested in your lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed a prayer like this one time and one of us God just opened a door and a bank met him to sell a property for them worth 450 million naira listen it doesn't take time it doesn't take time there is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle I stand by the God of heaven who is called Ebenezer, the God of Jeshurun. In the name of Jesus, receive help from the Lord. I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects, but it seems to never go out of the book. You have ideas, you have projects, it's just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams I know that many people had started their exams some have written 
and the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense you need the mercy of god in the name that is above all names much more than what you have written in the name of jesus may the mercy of god show up in your exam There is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy. Please pay attention. Our time is gone, but I want to speak this into your life. There are people who are not very smart. The prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable. The prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn. It's a system of God's mercy. It will be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles. There are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation. But there is the ordinance of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the God who has helped me by His grace, the God who has helped this ministry, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of jesus christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of jesus christ finally i want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life i pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value i connect you to those eyes in the name of jesus Any pit you have found yourself in, I must pray this. Financially, whatever it is, you have found yourself in a situation where only God can bring you out. May that God you believe in bring you out of it now. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word. The Lord declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life, by the force of right words and by the power of the, no the name that is above all names, I declare to you, may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise we bless you because you have honored this house you have made it a place of answers you have made it a place of strange testimonies. Let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies. Let it not just be a ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the spirit of the Christ, testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, I will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done. I apologize, our time is gone. You are here in this place. Please, let's minimize movement, especially outside. 
you are here and you are saying apostle i've not given my heart to the lord jesus christ i need to encounter his salvation and his mercy please listen or you are here you are saying man of god i've seen the wonders i once gave my heart to the lord but as it is right now i need mercy i need grace i need to start afresh you are here inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it'll be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two win that war today win that war today win that war today the bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness three someone is still coming apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them very quickly join them very quickly i expect people to come from outside please clear the way for those coming from outside clear the way for those coming from outside overflow one two three if you're coming don't be sluggish run very quickly we're out of time run quickly run quickly we're out of time apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father come quickly come quickly come quickly come quickly give them a big god bless you whilst they come takes a lot of courage but win that war young and old run to jesus the bible says ye must be born again <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i want to salute all of you thank you so much for coming to make this decision lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me you're not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I have seen your wonders and I declare that I need you this night I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life. I am a child of God. I'm changed forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. I thank you because when you hung on that cross, they were worth your blood. They were worth the tears. They were worth the death. I pray in the name of Jesus, according to scripture, your sins are forgiven. And the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the spirit of god everything that is not of god i come against it right now the grace to live victorious is released upon you from today you go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate you i salute you very quickly everyone in concert i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands and you have a few people just welcome you on our behalf. God bless you.